What up, guys? So I just want to kind of get on here a little bit, talk about some NFL football. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I want to talk about the three rookie quarterbacks that are pretty much guaranteed to be starting this year. Uh, two of them I'm pretty sure are going to start week one. One of them is confirmed that he's going to start week one. The other one, I mean, C.J. Stroud is going to start week one. Bryce, Hart, or, or Bryce Young is going to start week one. Anthony Richardson probably going to start week one. Maybe not. I'll tell you why in a minute. So I've been from the top, from the beginning, on, very much on, the fact that I absolutely love Bryce Young. Love him. I've been a quarterback, great player. He's from California. But here's what has stood out to me about him going uh, out of camp and, and into the preseason in a couple of days. The kid's work ethic. Like, everything that's been reported about him at, at a camp is this guy's leadership, his work ethic. He shows up every day. He's working. He's ready to work. He wants to get better. He wants his teammates to get better. Like, everybody in the Panthers uh, building has had glowing things to say about Bryce Young. And I personally think this is the best situation for any rookie quarterback. But especially a guy like Bryce. A guy that's got the arm talent. That's got the athletic ability. That's got the brain. That's got the mind. That understands football on a level that a lot of guys don't. And he gets to learn from Andy Dalton. Which, say what you want about his career. He's still a veteran in this league and has played a lot of football. And has playoff experience. Josh McCown, the quarterback coach. What, what a better brain to learn from than a guy that bounced around the league as a backup got a couple of starting opportunities, and just kind of developed and, and learned and, and built his brain to where he could coach now. And Frank Reich, I mean, you saw what he did with, with Philadelphia and, and, and Carson Wentz, Carson's rookie year, almost made him MVP. Like, like it's those types of things. Like, he's in the best situation. And I know what you're going to say. Well, they don't have DJ Moore. They don't have Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, they don't have those guys, but they do have Adam Thielen. They do have Rashad Penny. Like, they've got guys in that locker room that are there to help Bryce and there to lead Bryce. And Andy Dalton is not starting. The, the Panthers have already said Bryce is the starter week one. Fine with that. That's actually the perfect scenario for him. Because as a starter week one, he can now go out there. He can play. He can show what he can do. And look, if he gets into a bind, if he gets into a situation where he can't handle something, which I don't think he's going to get into... You want to talk about a great situation. He's going to have Andy Dalton and Josh McCown in his ear week one. That's a lot of NFL experience bundled up into two guys that absolutely want this kid to succeed. That's the best case scenario for any rookie quarterback. Now let's get to C.J. Stroud, the Texans quarterback, who I'm almost certain is going to be the week one starter. They haven't said it yet, but they are not about to trot Davis Mills out there. When they got C.J. Stroud sitting there, Sitting in the back. I personally, and this is my personal opinion. You can comment if you disagree with me or not. I personally feel like C.J. Stroud has got the best pure arm talent out of any of the rookie quarterbacks we saw go in the draft. I think his arm talent is better than Bryce. I think his arm talent is better than Anthony Richardson. And I think his arm talent is way better than Will Levis, personally. And I'm not even going to bring up Will Levis in the conversation of starting because he's not about to start, especially over... Um, Ryan Tannehill when they're still trying to see if they want to trade Ryan Tannehill or can they get something out of him with two young guys and Malik Willis who they just drafted last year and now Will Levis saying hey we're right here we're on the cusp we're breaking in it could be a toss up it really could Um, but back to CJ Stroud I think this is a really good position as well a rookie head coach and D'Amico Ryans right you got the Texans won the draft because they got Stroud and Will Anderson. So you've already got a vaulted defense with Will Anderson, who's going to be a pass rusher. I think his NFL comp to me, Micah Parsons. He can be that Micah Parsons guy for the Texans. You can put him at linebacker. You can put him at defensive end. You can move him around the field. He's going to be the guy that, like the Cowboys with um, Micah Parsons, you don't know where he's at on the field, but you know he's somewhere, and you got to find the kid, and I don't think you're going to be able to find him. I really don't. I, th I think 
Will Anderson is going to be defensive defensive rookie of the year. I'm going to call it right now. Will Anderson will be the defensive rookie of the year. And I think CJ Stroud has a chance to be offensive rookie of the year. Um, but it's, it's going to depend on this. And I do love the fact that they got John Mechie back. They've got Mechie. I, I loved John Mechie coming out last year. I know his rookie year he didn't get to play because you know, he had cancer. I'm so glad that he is better now. Um, I think when you look at the Texans, you know, they don't have, other than Mechie, that wow factor. They have a really good uh, running game. They got a good running game. And I think a lot of it's going to be bolted on their defense. But I think C.J. Stroud is poised to have a really good year. He's very athletic. He's got the arm talent. And I think he's really good at decision-making. I think he's one of those guys that you can sit there and you can look at and you can say, that guy could be a pro bowler. That guy could be NFL MVP. Like, I think him and Bryce could both. Could both. I'm not trying to crap on Bryce by praising CJ. They're both incredible. I just think CJ has a bit more arm talent than Bryce. And if not arm talent, definitely more accurate downfield. In my opinion, just based on what I've seen on tape, I think CJ Stratus is a better passing quarterback, and Bryce is definitely the way better elusive athletic guy that's going to make your offense just... The Panthers are going to be really fun to watch this year, but so are the Texans. Now let's talk about the Colts. And Colts fans, do not get mad at me when I say this. I do not think that Anthony Richardson should start week one. I don't think he should. I think you're in a great position with Shane Steichen coming in as the head coach. A guy that turned Jalen Hurts into an MVP candidate. But I don't think he should start week one, and here's why. Before the Colts fans get mad at me and say I'm break, I'm not. I'm protecting the kid, and here's why. Right now, you don't know if Jonathan Taylor is going to be on the field week one. I right, you don't, you don't, you don't have that number one receiver. You have Alec Pierce, who's been exceptionally well in camp, but you don't have the number one receiver. You don't know if your if your franchise for the past five. However long Jonathan Taylor has been in the league, you don't know if he's going to be there. So I think, and you don't have the best offensive line right now. So I think you start Gardner Minshew for two reasons. One, Gardner already knows the offense that Steichen's going to run. He was in Philadelphia last year. And I think Gardner Minshew can be a starter in this league for a couple weeks. I'm not saying starting the whole season. You don't want to sit a kid like Richardson out for the whole year. But you give him a couple weeks. I'd say you don't you don't start him until week seven. Seven, week seven, week seven, week seven, week eight. And I would say you don't play him until about week three. My personal opinion. And the two reasons I think, another reason I think that Richardson should sit behind Minshew. Minshew, similar to the situation in Carolina, Anthony's in a very good situation as well because he's got Garner Minshew, who has been a starter in this league, has also bounced and been a backup. Understand Steichen's offense. Shane Steichen's offense is built for a guy like Anthony Richardson, similar to what Frank Wright can do with Bryce. Steichen can do with Richardson. But I don't trust Anthony Richardson yet. I don't trust him yet. And I'm not saying that to crap on the kid. By no means. I think he's a phenomenal talent. But we haven't seen that much consistency out of the kid yet. And listen, last year at Florida was a joke. I mean, he was their only good player on their offense. Like, they had <laughs> nobody. Last year was bad for Florida. But 
the Colts aren't exactly that much better. They have a strong defense if they're all healthy. You don't know if your running back's going to be there. You don't have that number one, I can throw the ball to you and you're going to catch it guy, like Stroud has in Mechie. And like I truly believe Bryce Young's going to have an Adam Thielen. I think Adam Thielen's going to be that, I've got you, throw me the ball, we're good type of guy for, for Bryce. I really do. But I don't trust Richardson. Not yet. I think he still needs to learn. He still needs to grow. Him, similar to Will Levis, was around the top, you know, oh, he could go here, he could go here. Levis fell out of the first round. Richardson doesn't need to start because when you look at him and Levis, the only thing I think really separates the two is that Richardson's more athletic and bigger. That's it. I really don't... I don't see that much of a difference. I actually think Levis is the better quarterback. But I don't see that much of a difference in Levis and Richardson. And you've got Will Levis sitting there battling for second string in Tennessee. And Richardson, the starter in, in, the, in, in the in Indianapolis? No fault to him. He got drafted there, and they've been abysmal ever since Andrew Luck retired. However, I still don't trust him. I know it's Shane Steichen's offense. I know I just said he's built for that offense. But, I think you start Gardner Minshew week one. And I think you start until about week seven, week eight, personally. Because then you give Richardson more time to sit behind a veteran quarterback who knows the offense, who knows how to work in the NFL. You let Richardson adapt to the game. You play him a lot in the preseason. I think they're all going to play a lot in the preseason. But you really don't need that number one guy to be Richardson week one. You really don't. You can put out Minshew and, and let him go. And then week eight. Okay, Anthony. Here's the keys. We're taking the training wheels off. Here, here. We're taking out the permit. Here's your license. Go. You can let me do that week eight. But I'm thinking the first seven weeks, you let the kids sit and learn behind a veteran quarterback in Minshew that knows what he's doing, that's not going to mess things up. You give Anthony a chance to develop, and you give Minshew a chance to get some tape out there so that he can go get a job next year somewhere. Because honestly, I we're going to get to this one in a minute. But yeah, that's how I think it goes. Now, I said we're going to get to it where you are. Baker Mayfield retired. You need to retire. If it's that close between you and Kyle Trask, you need to retire. Because Kyle Trask is not that good. He's not. So either he got really good in the last couple of years behind Tom Brady, or you got really bad. And I love you, Baker Mayfield. I have followed your career from Oklahoma to the NFL. I've watched you with the Browns. I felt bad that the Browns went out and got Deshaun Watson when they had you sitting there and could have just given you a contract. But if I mean, it might be over for Baker. I'm like the only film coming out of Buccaneers camp of Baker and Kyle is bad. They don't have a quarterback. And that's where I think Gardner Minshew next year could go be a quarterback or, you know, trade deadline. You trade him for some picks or for a receiver or something. But, like, Baker, retire, dude. Like, I don't think, even if you win the starting job in Tampa, which you should, that you're getting another job somewhere else. You're not going to go start over Patrick Mahomes with the Chiefs. You're not going to start over Bryson with the Panthers. Or, I would say Desmond Ritter with the Falcons. I'd also say you're not starting over Derek Carr. You're not starting over anybody. You're not going to start over Geno Smith. 
I think the Rams were going to upset them minute they knew they had to. Like, I really don't think that you're ever going to start again for a competitor. This is your chance. And everything we've seen out of camp, you're not doing good. You know. Now, this is kind of a segment I want to get into. A little bit. And this could go one of two ways. This could go one of two ways. But I'm going to get into it in a little bit. I think, and I've seen it said on ESPN by Dan Orlovsky, and I agree with him, Justin Fields can have an MVP caliber season. The Bears will have a terrible year. Fields can have an MVP caliber season. But you know who I think is the breakout quarterback to watch this year? Kenny Pickett and Jordan Love are my two breakout quarterbacks, one from the AFC, one from the NFC, that you need to watch this year. I think Kenny Pickett could have a great year in Pittsburgh, second year in the system. He obviously knows the system. He knows the locker room. He understands what's expected. Him and George Pickens have a great connection. Najee Harris is still there. You've still got that stout defense led by T.J. Watt. Like... Pittsburgh's in good position to finish third in the division behind the Ravens and Bengals because I'm not picking anybody over the Bengals in that division and I'm not picking anybody over the Ravens other than the Bengals in that division. You have a playoff run. You, you Legitimately, you could. Now, will you? Probably not because the AFC West is loaded with three competitors. Um, and the Browns could... I mean, the Browns could... You know, Deshaun Watson. That could happen. Do I think it will? No. Do I want it to? No. You know, the Jets are now up there with the Bills and the Dolphins. I I like the Patriots. I love Mac Jones. I think Bill O'Brien will bring a lot more competent football to the Patriots. And this is just a public service announcement. To Bill Belichick. I know, right? We got on YouTube doing a PSA announcement to the greatest coach of all time. Stay away from Bill O'Brien. Don't tell him what to do. Let Bill do what he wants to do with Mac Jones. Do you know why? Because Mac Jones can be your Tom Brady. I believe that. You give him the right coaching... He can be Tom Brady. And guess what? You're not the right... Matt Patricia and Joe Judge are not the right coaches for Mac Jones. Bill O'Brien is. Bill O'Brien knows what, Mac's, what Mac can do. Bill O'Brien knows what Mac's about. Bill O'Brien likes Mac Jones. It's a win-win-win situation for all parties involved. Bill, you get back in your coaching of winning football games... Mac develops into a really good, solid Pro Bowl quarterback and has that year three jump that he should have had last year, but you decided to hire two idiots to coach your offense. And I I really like the Juju Smith-Schuster. I really like him. I think that's a good signing by the Patriots. I think he's going to be a really good wide receiver for them. They obviously still have... Um, Trying to think of receivers they have. You know what? It might just be Juju. I, I can't remember. Do they have Devontae Parker? Or is he gone? I have no idea. Anyway. Um, yeah, I just want to hop on here for a little bit. Talk about the quarterback situations. So, I think Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, and Anthony Richardson will all have good years. You start Bryce and CJ week one. You don't start Richardson if you're the Colts week one, in my opinion. Um, I think Baker Mayfield, if you're that close to Kyle Trask, maybe it's time to hang up the cleats. Um, I love Justin Fields. I think Jordan Love and Kenny Pickett are my two to watch this year for development. Um, I think the Packers will be good. They're going to run the ball a lot. Yeah, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon are going to be a part of that a lot. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I got. 
Alright guys. Bye.